Have you ever wondered why there isn't a bridge connecting Europe and Africa? With just a narrow stretch of water separating these two continents at the Strait of Gibraltar, it seems like a bridge could be a practical solution. But the reality is far more complex. Join us as we dive into the top reasons why there is no bridge between Europe and Africa. 1. Geographical Challenges The Strait of Gibraltar's unique geography poses significant obstacles to building a bridge. This narrow passage of water, while only about 14 kilometers 9 miles, wide at its narrowest point, features a highly irregular underwater landscape. The seabed plunges to depths exceeding 900 meters, approximately 3,000 feet, creating a trench-like environment that complicates the laying of foundation pillars needed to support a bridge. Such depth would require extremely tall and robust support structures, pushing the limits of current engineering capabilities. Additionally, the strait's varying depths and strong undercurrents make it difficult to construct and maintain stable foundations. 2. Seismic Activity The Strait of Gibraltar lies in a region that experiences frequent seismic activity due to the convergence of the African and Eurasian tectonic plates. This area is prone to earthquakes, which can vary in magnitude and impact. Constructing a bridge that spans a seismically active zone would require it to withstand not only regular seismic vibrations, but also the possibility of large destructive earthquakes. To make a bridge earthquake resistant would require substantial investment in design and materials, increasing the overall cost and complexity of the project. If you are enjoying the video, please support us by subscribing to our channel, click the like button and share the video. It means a lot to us. Thank you. 3. High Winds and Strong Currents The Strait of Gibraltar is notorious for its strong winds, known as the Levanter, and powerful ocean currents, which can pose serious challenges for any bridge construction. High winds can exert significant pressure on bridge structures, potentially causing swaying or even structural damage if the bridge is not designed to withstand such forces. These winds can be particularly strong in the region, with gusts reaching up to 80 km per hour, 50 m per hour, or more. Designing a bridge that can safely handle such conditions would require advanced aerodynamic features and materials, which would further increase the cost and complexity of the project. Strong ocean currents in the strait also pose a significant challenge. These currents can undermine the stability of bridge foundations by eroding the seabed around support structures, especially in an area with varying depths and underwater topography. Engineers would need to develop innovative solutions to anchor the bridge securely, potentially using deep-sea anchoring techniques that are still in the experimental stages. Additionally, the construction phase itself would be hazardous, with workers and equipment exposed to the risks posed by these natural forces, making the logistics of building such a bridge even more daunting. 4. Economic Costs Constructing a bridge between Europe and Africa would require a massive financial investment, with estimates suggesting costs in the tens of billions of dollars. These costs would encompass not only the construction materials and labor, but also the advanced technology and engineering expertise needed to tackle the unique challenges of the project. Funding such an endeavor would be a major hurdle, as it would require contributions from multiple countries and possibly international organizations. The financial burden would be enormous, and convincing stakeholders of the long-term economic benefits could be difficult. 5. Environmental Concerns The Strait of Gibraltar is home to a diverse array of marine life and ecosystems that could be disrupted by the construction of a bridge. The Strait acts as a vital gateway between the Atlantic Ocean and the Mediterranean Sea, creating unique conditions that support a wide variety of species including dolphins, whales, and numerous fish species. The construction and presence of a bridge could potentially harm these delicate ecosystems through noise pollution, water pollution from construction activities, and physical alterations to the seabed and water flow patterns. In addition to direct impacts on marine life, there are broader environmental concerns associated with such a large infrastructure project. Constructing a bridge would require significant amounts of raw materials, energy, and resources, 
contributing to environmental degradation and carbon emissions. Once completed, the bridge would also need to be maintained, which could involve additional environmental impacts. Protecting the natural environment of the Strait of Gibraltar is a priority for many conservationists and regulatory bodies, and any project that threatens this delicate balance is likely to face significant opposition and legal challenges. 6. Political and Diplomatic Issues Building a bridge between Europe and Africa would require the cooperation of multiple countries, primarily Spain and Morocco, as well as support from the European Union and other international stakeholders. Political and diplomatic tensions between these countries could pose significant barriers to the project's approval and implementation. Issues such as territorial disputes, economic interests, and differing political agendas could make it difficult to reach a consensus on how to proceed. Navigating these complex political waters would require careful diplomacy and negotiation. Additionally, a project of this scale would need to comply with various international regulations and standards, which could differ between the involved countries. Aligning these regulations and ensuring that all parties are satisfied with the agreements would be a challenging task. The potential for political disputes or changes in government could also disrupt the project at any stage, leading to delays, increased costs, or even the abandonment of the project. The intricate web of political and diplomatic issues adds another layer of complexity to the idea of constructing a bridge between Europe and Africa. 7. Security Concerns A bridge between Europe and Africa would present a range of security challenges. Such a large and strategic infrastructure would need to be protected against various threats, including illegal immigration, smuggling, and potential terrorist attacks. The bridge could become a target for those seeking to bypass border controls, leading to an increase in illegal activities. Ensuring the security of the bridge would require substantial resources, including border control personnel, surveillance systems, and ongoing monitoring, all of which would add to the operational costs. Furthermore, the bridge could be seen as a potential target for terrorist attacks, given its symbolic and strategic importance. Protecting it from such threats would involve implementing advanced security measures, which could include regular patrols, checkpoints, and emergency response plans. These security concerns could deter investors and policymakers from supporting the project, as the risks associated with maintaining a safe and secure bridge could outweigh the potential benefits. The need for heightened security adds another layer of complexity to the already challenging task of constructing a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar. 8. Alternatives already exist. There are already well-established methods of transport between Europe and Africa, including ferries and cargo ships, which are efficient and relatively inexpensive. These modes of transport have been in place for many years and have proven to be effective in handling the current volume of traffic. Ferries, in particular, offer flexibility and adaptability, allowing for adjustments based on seasonal demand and economic conditions. They can transport passengers, vehicles, and goods across the strait without the need for a fixed, permanent structure. 9. Engineering Limitations Building a bridge over the Strait of Gibraltar would push the boundaries of current engineering capabilities. The combination of deep waters, strong currents, and high winds requires innovative solutions that have not yet been fully developed or tested. The challenges posed by the Strait's geography and environmental conditions would require cutting-edge technology and materials, as well as new construction techniques that could withstand the unique stresses of the area. Engineers would need to address issues such as deep-sea foundations, long spans, and resistance to seismic activity, all of which add to the complexity of the project. 10. Limited demand for connectivity. While there is certainly traffic between Europe and Africa, the current demand may not justify the construction of a massive bridge. The volume of trade, tourism, and other forms of travel across the Strait of Gibraltar can be adequately handled by existing transportation methods, such as ferries and cargo ships. These modes of transport are capable of scaling up or down based on demand providing a flexible solution that does not require the permanent commitment of a bridge. The existing infrastructure is sufficient to meet current needs, 
making the economic case for a bridge less compelling. From natural obstacles to political and economic considerations, it's clear that a bridge isn't as simple as it seems. What do you think? Could these challenges be overcome, or is this bridge better left as an idea? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like this video, and subscribe to our channel for more insights into the world's most intriguing questions.